Continuing to episode 7, the current situation in the market is worsening. Alpha, upon learning that Shadow itself is the cause of this situation, finds himself huddled in contemplation. Meanwhile, Getten, riding the train with Garter, is still anxious because he hasn't found the source of his counterfeit money. However, Garter reveals that he has identified the mastermind behind all of this, Yukon, the fox from the White Tower in the Lawless City. Suddenly, Getten hears the jingling of a bell in the distance. Garter is puzzled as to why Getten suddenly panics. Indeed, only Yukaim and Getten recognize that sound, as it comes from the bell they acquired when they were engaged. Getten then requests to stop the train and disembark. On the other side, Alpha continues to be lost in thought in front of the fireplace. She mutters that she is no longer needed by Shadow. Gamma, witnessing this, tries to report the current situation to encourage Alpha to rise and help. The collapse of the Trade Federation cannot be stopped. Public anxiety peaks due to the forced closure of stores. Riots break out in all bank branches. Worse still, the Mitsugoshi Bank is flooded with customers wanting to exchange. If this situation continues, the bank vaults will be empty in a few days. However, Gamma states that everything will be fine. It just needs something to restore a sense of security in the market to stop the turmoil. Nevertheless, Alpha has resigned herself and does not want to do anything. Alpha finally reveals that Shadow is the one spreading the counterfeit money. It is also Shadow who destroyed the credit credibility. All of these circumstances are Shadow's desires. So Alpha is convinced that Shadow has discarded Shadow Garden. Gamma, of course, does not believe this. Alpha assumes that they have failed to meet Shadow's expectations, and this is the result. Despite being given the best place in knowledge, they have failed to achieve Shadow's desires. Gamma is eventually saddened and contemplative upon hearing this. After that, Nu entered the room. She was a bit puzzled as to why Alpha and Gamma looked sad on the floor. Nevertheless, she proceeded to deliver the report she had. They had confirmed that a man named Getten was a pioneer member of the Diabolos Church. In order to destroy Mitsugoshi, the church devised a plan to circulate counterfeit money. Resignedly, Gamma stated the possibility that Shadow might have realized this and took action independently, while Shadow Garden was merely engaging in an economic war against them. That's why Shadow was disappointed. However, Alpha suddenly realized that something was amiss. The church had planned to circulate counterfeit money, yet they hadn't done it yet. Previously, Alpha learned the fact that the current distributor of counterfeit money was Shadow. She even changed her name and severed ties with Shadow Garden. She had been creating and distributing counterfeit money before the church. Suddenly, Better rushed into the room. She wanted to immediately report the secret letter from Shadow that had just been deciphered by Ida. As Alpha read it, tears welled up in her eyes. It turns out, Shadow didn't discard them. In the letter, Shadow apologized for betraying Shadow Garden. For a plan, he discarded his name, then decided to make counterfeit money with his accomplice. Shadow also informed them that he kept the collected gold coins in the place where they once saved Claire. Shadow understood that they would hate him. However, he thought this choice was the best. Alpha, Beta, and Gamma were moved by Shadow's actions. He had seen everything from the beginning and made the best choice. Shadow realized the church's plan earlier than others and took advantage of it. By distributing counterfeit money before the church, they could acquire significant assets. With those assets, Mitsugoshi could withstand the credit destruction. And ultimately, the church would lose the Trade Federation and face defeat. They also began to understand that Shadow changed his identity to hide the connection between counterfeit money, Mitsugoshi, and Shadow Garden. Alpha finally understood Shadow's words during their fight on the time train. However, Beta was still confused about what happened to Delta. Alpha said there was no need to worry about her. Alpha then approached an open window and called Delta's name. And indeed, Delta was there. Delta tried to explain that she was on a super secret mission given by Shadow. She feared being scolded by Alpha. However, the others embraced Delta because they were genuinely worried about her. Delta herself was confused about why she was being hugged like that. Meanwhile, Sid, also known as John Smith, decided to retrieve all the collected gold coins. However, he found not a single gold coin in its storage place. At the same time, Yukon's subordinate reported to John that they couldn't reach Yukon, possibly dealing with Getten. John immediately assumed that Getten had taken all his gold coins. In reality, it was the members of Shadow Garden who did it after reading Shadow's letter. 
John appeared furious because Getton had taken something precious from him. He was determined to reclaim it. Currently, Yukaim and Getton were engaged in a snowy battle far from the city. Unexpectedly, Getton struggled to fight against Yukaim. He didn't expect Yukaim to possess a golden tail, a legend among the nine-tailed foxes. Despite Getton being Yukaim's target for revenge against his mother, his village had survived thanks to Getton. Yukaim still believed that the good side of Getton existed. Therefore, she wouldn't kill Getton and decided to leave him be. However, Getton couldn't accept everything being taken from him. He then took a pill from the church to transform and become stronger. Yukaim, caught off guard, suffered an attack due to her lapse in vigilance. When Getton aimed to finish off Yukaim, suddenly John Smith came crashing into Getton. John stated that he came here only to reclaim something valuable. John was convinced that Getton had taken it. At that moment, Getton thought that something valuable was Yukaim. However, John meant his gold coins. Even Yukaim didn't expect this. John could have discarded Yukaim, but he was deeply impressed by John's compassion. In their fight, Getton couldn't match John's strength. When Getton had fallen, John repeatedly struck him, forcing him to say something. John meant the location of the stolen gold, but he didn't explicitly state it. Getton misunderstood, thinking there was nothing to be said about Yukon. However, John continued to beat him until he was badly bruised. Getton envied John's extraordinary strength. He also wished to have such power so that he wouldn't lose anything anymore. In his final moments, Getton entrusted something precious, Yukon, to John. However, because his words were unclear, Getton seemed to only say Yuki, which means snow. John thought that was Getton's answer about the location of the stolen gold coins. Afterward, John approached the injured Yukon and healed her. The magical healing energy felt familiar to Yukon. Upon recollection, when her village was destroyed, someone had healed her too. She didn't expect that John had been saving her since then. Then thinking that Getton had hidden the gold coins in the snow, John decided to dig around the area. Meanwhile, Garter was finally captured by the kingdom for causing disturbances in the market and disrupting government distribution activities. Yukine, who had just returned, was awaited by her subordinates. They were very worried, but fortunately, they quickly informed John. However, they questioned why Yukine was not currently with John. Before leaving, Yukine had seen John carrying a shovel. She thought that John was going to bury Getton. In reality, he wanted to dig the snow to search for his gold coins. Once again, Yukaim was amazed by John's compassionate nature, which was actually a misunderstanding. By the way, Yukaim's subordinates also reported the disappearance of gold coins in the storage place. At that moment, Alpha suddenly appeared. She informed them that Shadow Garden had taken all the stored gold coins. Alpha knew that Yukaim was once Getten's lover. Therefore, she revealed that Getten had actually been manipulated by an organization called Diabolus Church. They exploited people's weaknesses, blinded their vision, and led them into darkness. Currently, Shadow Garden was fighting against that organization, including him, John Smith, or Shadow. Alpha also disclosed that Mitsugoshi was a front business for Shadow Garden, so everything had been planned by Shadow from the beginning. Yukaim was deeply impressed by Shadow's abilities, however, she did not consider Shadow a traitor, especially since he had saved her. Alpha shared all this because Shadow Garden planned to accept Yukaim as assistance. Mitsugoshi would be the front, while Yukaim would work in the background. Yukaim herself had no objections to this. With that, they agreed to collaborate. Thanks to all the gold coins taken by Shadow Garden, Mitsugoshi managed to survive the credit destruction. They also gained the market power of the Trade Federation and could establish an absolute position. On the other hand, Sid continued digging the snow since then. However, he couldn't find anything. Sid thought he would receive the gold coins entrusted by Getton, and it would be the happy ending to all these events. Not only did he not get the coins, but Yu Ken also stopped communicating. Additionally, Mitsugoshi remained unharmed. Sid was truly confused. At that moment, Sid invited Delta to dig as well. Delta agreed because she wanted to collect on Sid's promise to grant any request. Due to all these situations, Sid decided to take a short trip. He was sure that the members of Shadow Garden would be angry because he didn't end up giving them the gold coins. When winter ended, Sid would return to them as if nothing happened. When Sid had left, Delta, who was still digging, seemed to find something. 